Unit squares for measuring area. Let's say we have this square. It takes some space because it has size. The shaded region shows the space the square takes up. Suppose we make three copies of this square and arrange all four squares side by side. The bigger shape is now a rectangle made up of four equal squares. The combined shaded region shows the amount of space taken up by the rectangle. We use the term area to refer to the amount of space taken up by a shape. What units do we use to measure the area? Maybe we can say that the area of this shape equals one square. And the area of this one is equal to four squares. But what if someone asks how big is the square we're using? Suppose each of our squares has a side length of four centimeters. So we say that our rectangle is made up of four squares, each with a side length of four centimeters. But we could also use 16 squares, each with a side length of two centimeters, to make a rectangle that has the same area as the first one. We need to agree on using the same kind of square when talking about areas. It cannot have a side length of 2 centimeters one time and a side length of 4 centimeters another time, because then we won't be able to directly compare the areas 16 and 4. So everyone will use a square with a side length of 1, whether it is 1 centimeter, 1 foot, 1 inch, or any other one unit of length. For example, this rectangle is made up of 18 squares, each with a side length of 1 inch. So we say its area equals 18 square inches. And this rectangle is made up of 8 squares, with a side length of 1 inch. So its area is 8 square inches. Now we can compare areas. 18 square inches is greater than 8 square inches. So the area of the first rectangle is greater than the area of the second. In this lesson, you learned how to use a unit square to measure area.